Good morning, my name is Susie Galian, and today I have a speech in my Toastmasters Club. I would like to share it with you to hear your opinion and what you have to say. They're going to give me an evaluation, but I also would like to share it with you so you can give me your evaluation as well. I'm going to share my screen. I hope you can see that, very good. I'm going to, yeah, I'm recording. Have you ever called your insurance company to discover later that everything you've said can and will be used against you? Mr. Toastmasters, fellow members, guests, if you own your home and it's important to you, and you think is one of your most valued assets, then you need to pay attention. An insurance adjuster for the State Farm did an article for Smart Money Magazine, and they said that roughly 80% of the policyholders accept their first yes, accept their first no, or their very first check that the insurance company sends them not knowing that they're only getting paid 25 to 40 cents on the dollar. There was a government study as well that was done during a storm and they discovered they wanted to see if a public adjuster was really a good asset for the policyholder. And they discovered that the policyholders who did use a, an, a public adjuster, they got paid a lot more than people who didn't. As you can see the difference there, it is a big difference. It's over a 500% difference. And that, not, that is not a typical claim difference. However, it was at that time due to the storm. And this is what a typical claim would look like. This is more like an everyday claim. You can still see that when you use the public adjuster to handle your claim, you are way better off. Now you will see here, our company did their own study and they put together a few of the claims. We have handled thousands of thousands of claims. And as you could see here, we're not gonna go through every single one of them, but you will see here that every time that a public adjuster came to, it was the great asset for that client. For example, that church, the first one, they got denied for a win claim that they had we came in, not only reopened their claim, because remember, only public adjusters can reopen the claim, whether it was paid or it was denied. A public adjuster can reopen the claim. And we, they, the company got this church over $187,000. I mean, that's a lot of money. Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Now, let's say over here, the Taurus family. The Torres family had a fire. Allstate gave them $90,000. Would you be happy with $90,000? Sure. But the client said, well, you know what? Why not? I have nothing to lose. I will see if they can get me more money or not. We got in, got their claim reopened, and got them over $118,000. Which one would, would you prefer to have? 90, 118. I'm sure you will go for the 118. What about Yonan here? He had an accidental discharge. State Farm gave them $4,900. We came in, reopened the claim, got them over $22,000. Again, which one would you prefer to have? $4,900, $22,000. I'm sure you're going to say $22,000. Now, what type of, how many type of insurance are, are there? Well, there are, there are a few. What we want to make sure that our clients have is that special HO3 policy. Now, the policies nowadays are not that easy to find. That um, word beverage right there is not that easy to find. But what it means is that you are covered for all the perils. If it's not specifically excluded, it is actually covered. Even if it's done by us, the policy holder, the homeowner, yes. Do you know what's in your wallet? So what is a covered peril? Well, peril is something that happens sudden and accidental. <clears throat> a lot of people think that, oh, yeah, I know my insurance, my insurance policy will cover me for a fire or a tree that falls on top of my house. Big, big claims. What if I tell you that they also cover smaller claims or different type of claims like accidental discharge of water? You have pipes that burst out. You have skylights. They always leak. 
lift, lifted missing shingles, that's always a, a cover loss. And also whatever damage you get inside the home because of that type of damage. You can see cars into the homes. Yes, that's covered by your homeowner's insurance. Burglary, absolutely. Now, there's, you're also covered for accidental damages, even if they're covered, if we did in themselves, ourselves, in our home, we, we started barbecuing and melted the siding, yes, um, bleach in the carpet, and even if, I, if you have a ceramic tile and you drop something and you crack one tile, please, you have to let us know, because the first tile, the first tile in, indicates that it's sudden and accidental, more than one it will, it will be hard to prove that it was sudden. They will see it more as, as an ongoing problem. Therefore, you can you de, your claim can be denied. And acts of God, can you believe it? You are covered by, for act of God. So let's talk about myths. Number one, policy will be canceled if we submit a claim. That is not true. They cannot renew you, but they can do that whether you have a claim or not. Rates, Grace go up if, file, if you file a claim or if you file more than one claim in a three-year period. Again, that is totally false. They cannot renew you. They will increase your premium at the renewal time, not before or not because you, you put a claim in, you file a claim. That's not, that's illegal. Insurance adjuster works for the homeowner. Not again. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. They're not really good neighbors. They're fiduciary. The insurance adjuster's fiduciary responsibilities where there is with their employer, the insurance company, not with you. Public adjusters inflate claims to pay the better commission. Again, that is not true. It is illegal to pay a penny more of what the claim is worth. So professional public adjusters know a thing or two because we have seen a thing or two, a thing or two. Get, let's get together with your public adjuster if you haven't done it and to go over your policy for free because 15 minutes can save you more. Mr. Toastmasters, hopefully I kept I stayed under the time. It should be five to seven minutes. So now I got to go back and check. But tell me what you think. Maybe I spoke too fast. Maybe my accent is like, oh, you got to slow down, girl. I cannot understand it. That's fine. I'll be okay with um, whatever message you can tell me I can also that will ho also help me become a better speaker I appreciate your feedback and I'll see you soon